okay so welcome back uh, now it's time to protect our routes from the unauthenticated users okay so to do that I am simply going to create here the middleware oops uh, in the middleware folder with the name um, let's type here auth.js and in that I simply have to first of all uh, let's let's put here comments checks if user is authenticated or not so I'm going to type here exports dot is authenticated uh, user basically yeah, let's put here the catch async errors We have imported. You can see that VS Code has automatically imported it, and now we also have to import the async. Async and that is uh, request response, and next, All right? And uh, now let's pull our cookie uh, token from the cookie. Now I'm going to tell you that you can also authorize, there are multiple ways to do this. One way is that you provide your token uh, in the uh, in the headers, alright, if you go back to my postman, you provide your authorization in the headers, uh, like you can put here the uh, a barrier, uh, like authorization, and then the barrier, and put the token here, that is also fine. But you can also like we or we have we have already stored our token in the cookie. Then we can verify our user from the cookie also. Now I will tell you that we can access the cookies, HTTP only cookies on the server. But we cannot access the HTTP only cookies on the front end on the client side. So this is the benefit that we can access it on the uh, server side, but not on the client side. So we can authenticate our user on the back end rather authenticating it on the front end all right so it is more secure way to do more and more authentication on the server side so i'm going to use here const token equals to request dot cookies okay that's oops let's log here the token first of all to show you if I save it, go back to my products route basically. So in the route product, and let's import here cons equals to require from dot dot slash the middle weirds slash the auth, and we have to import here is authenticated user. And now to protect my route, I can simply copy it and paste it in. Um, let's to test it. I put here is authenticated on phone products. Now products is not a uh, protected route, but this uh, test it out. I'm going to put is the authenticated user here. So I press Control S and go back to and also before doing it, we have to also use here the cookie parser. So I simply import here cons cookie parser equals require cookie parser and let's use it so I simply after here let's use the app dot use the cookie parser like that so we save it and now if I go back to my postman if I go to the products get all products if I click on send from here We go to the here uh, on the VS code that's cancelled so go to VS code you can see that we get here token all right so this is what we want to pull out from the uh, where is from from the request dot cookies now we can verify that token if it's correct or not so I can simply remove this line from here and I first of all check that I simply type here message that if not token for example token doesn't exist then we simply have to return 
the new uh, sorry next new error so it is imported i think so so it is imported successfully and i put in here the error that login first to access this resource right and now let's also put here 401 and but if the token exists then we have to verify the user so what i do is i simply type here const decoded equals to jwt dot verify right so we have to verify this token at is this token correct or not so what i do is JWT. Okay, so JWT dot verify and we have to verify our user. So we have to pass in here the token that we have pulled out from the cookie, and we also have to provide here process dot env dot the JWT seeker. So it will verify our token that is correct or not, and if it is correct, then we simply put in here request dot user equals to await user dot find by id and we pull out from decoded dot id remember we have stored the id of the user in the payload so we can put that in the find by id and find that user and put in the request dot user after we can put here the next to move on all right simply save it and now if i press ctrl s and go back to my post and click on send you will see that here so simply go back to vs code and, and import the user from require dot slash from the models slash user so we save it and now if i go back and click on send you will see here we get our products because user is authenticated all right okay so now we are successfully verifying or protecting our routes so in my next video i'm going to write my code for logout that when i log out i have to clear this cookie okay so user cannot log in again without entering its credentials so whenever it whenever user logged out me you simply have to uh, remove this cookie okay and when it expires this cookie will automatically be removed from here okay all right so in my next video i will handle the logout route